So how are we getting the Mini Cooper up the coast with us as we move our boat? I'm staying on the path that I've chosen straight up. Come my way and I'll see you at the top. Okay, so here's the really cool way we've been working on getting our car located from one port to another while we're traveling. Now there's all sorts of like the basic things you can do of like hitch a ride and whatnot to go back and get your vehicle. But that's not really practical all the time. Wouldn't it be awesome if you could just press a button and your car would come to you? And it sounds kind of science fiction, but it's actually happening. Not a lot of people realize that Florida is the, you know, basically the, becoming the Silicon Valley for self-driving car technology. There's um, actually, it is legal in the state of Florida for uh, fully autonomous vehicles. And, well, okay, that's kind of cool. There's some self-driving taxi companies. There's even a self-driving school bus in one town in Florida. But for how about for regular people? No car manufacturers are willing to sell cars yet until they can do an autonomous car that works nationwide. But there's some um, open source projects and open source hardware that lets you retrofit existing cars to have custom self-driving capabilities. And we've been hacking on this for a while. And we've actually been experimenting. So, details. There's a company called uh, Kama.ai that is, was founded by the hacker who originally was the very first person to jailbreak an iPhone and now he's got a self-driving car company. They've got an interface that lets you control any car made since 2008 via a plug-in like this. This is our Mobley, but the other one's over the Mini. Let's the, control that. A replacement rear view mirror with cameras and sensors on it. That is the brains of the operation. And then you just write custom software to control your vehicle. So when we are moving our mini to our last port well we pressed a button and it almost worked it got well almost all the way here we've discovered one problem with our 2009 mini cooper it's a manual transmission and the software can only shift gears going forward cannot go into reverse so our mini actually ended up getting stuck on the side of the road when it couldn't back up to go around an obstacle tiny problem this isn't real <laughs> That's uh, almost a wish, dream, that Florida really is legalized autonomous vehicles. This software, open source software, is being worked on. Um, open source hardware exists. There's cars like Tesla with their autopilot and other high-end cars that have self-driving abilities down a highway when a driver is behind the wheel. Not quite, nobody's quite to the point of pressing a button and summoning a vehicle across state just yet. <sighs> this is just my... Well, today's my 13th Novadiversary. I'm dreaming a little bit about hopefully by the time my 15th Novadiversary or 20th Novadiversary rolls around, I will have that magic button and we'll be able to press it to have our vehicle come catch up with us. So we'll be revealing the real way that we get our Mini Cooper to follow us from port to port in an upcoming video. Yeah, it's April 1st. And that's my Novadiversary, April 1st. And... <laughs>